If you are new to our channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon for receiving latest updates on exams, research positions and guidance videos. So let's start the video. Hey guys, welcome to Inspire Chemistry. Today we'll be talking about statement of purpose, motivation letters and even research proposals. Statement of purpose is one of the most important documents that builds your application and that is something uh, you can actually build uh, with several tries and uh, hard work. You can actually convince a committee to uh, select your applications and it is one of the most important document apart from your CVs and recommendation letters. So basically statement of purpose are usually uh, limited with words. Uh, so when you apply for an application, they usually tell you the it could be about one to two pages. It could be around thousand words, two thousand words. So they are usually restriction. So people are uh, from uh, I'd say uh, they are usually uh, made out of six paragraphs five to six paragraphs and each paragraph tells about your motivation, uh, your perspectives, what you want to do in future and uh, it tells the committee that why you're so worth about this, uh, why you're worth, uh, to, worth to be taken as a potential candidate for that particular application. Okay, so let's start with the first, very first paragraph of your statement of purpose. And this should include uh, the motivation for the field of study. I'm telling you motivation for the field of study. It could be your motivation. It could be inspiration that you have taken. It could be liking for a subject. Let's say if you want to be, uh, if you're applying for medical school, for being a doctor, for becoming a doctor. You can say that I like to help people. I've helped people in the past. It is one of the most noble things that a person can do to save somebody's life. Uh, if you're uh, from chemistry background, you can say uh, there are like several, th uh, like there are many uh, elements and these 120 elements make thousands and thousands of compounds, each having different properties. So you want, you really like to understand what is the fundamental basis for it. If you're a physicist, it could be a uh, fascination with quantum mechanics. So you want to tell uh, like why you want to do your work in this particular research field. Okay, then second up is why you want to do a certain program. So second paragraph, you say why I want to do MS, I want to do PhD, why I want to do internship. For MS, you can say uh, uh, it. I want to do MS because I want to uplift my uh, undergrad knowledge uh, to a greater extent. If you want, if you're planning to do uh, go to an industry or join a job, you can say that I want to. Uh, make use of MS uh, to learn about um, initial uh, steps about uh, research or uh, connecting it to the industry. If you are planning to do your uh, PhD uh, after your master's, you can say that uh, I want to learn how to construct a PhD. I want to learn the spectroscopy, instrumentations, the all the techniques that will be useful in your PhD for characterization. Or uh, you can say that it gives you this bridge from undergrad to PhD, where you smoothly uh, convert from undergrad to a PhD student. So all these things you can uh, mention for uh, MS. If you want to, if you're writing a SOP for your PhD, you can say uh, why they'll ask you usually have to mention why you want to give a four to seven year commitment for a PhD. I mean, that's a big journey. A PhD is a journey. So they want you to, they want you uh, to write, why do you think, uh, uh, why do you want to do your PhD? So in case you're from chemistry, you can say that uh, you want to do big projects that may require collaboration with theoretical physicists, that may require you to use synchrotron x-rays, uh, do experimentation outside or analyze data that could takes even like one to two years or even more. So there are big projects. So you can say that I want to do a big project or something like that, that fits uh, for this four to seven years. If you're doing a, if you're writing SOP for a research assistant or internship, you can say that uh, I want to gain the research experience uh, that could be useful in my further studies. So that was the second paragraph. Now third is, uh, if you are applying for a program, you should write what are your interests. Let's say you are applying for a chemistry uh, PhD. So then you have to mention, uh, you can mention that I really like uh, to work on 2D materials. I like thermoelectrics. I like catalysis. I like solid state chemistry, fundamental chemistry. I like organometallics. 
so all these you can actually mention that i have a particular interest in this fields so uh, the reason why uh, i want uh, people write it because uh, they want to tell that uh, they have a specific interest for that and after joining their phd they would preferably look for a lab that works on these particular uh, 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 research areas then in the third paragraph itself you need to give a small background of that particular field let's say um, uh, thermoelectrics so how did that field start what has happened and where you can uh, give your uh, extra things uh, like where would you contribute to this field so it shouldn't go uh, beyond six to seven lines and if you're unsure that um, uh, which field you would like to um, work on you can just say i like to work on i like i'm fascinated with inorganic materials or something and uh, uh, then you can uh, have a, a comfort of still not specifying a particular lab in your sop or particular professor then fourth up uh, the fourth paragraph would consist of why that particular department or that particular university let's say i was talking about northwest university why do you want to join a uh, department of physics or department of chemistry or department of materials engineering at northwestern why particularly this university so then you can say that uh, uh, I know that it has a really good research uh, facilities. It has a lot of funds. It has collaborations. Uh, it has work opportunities, or it could be overall development. You you go to play. You get a teaching assistant. You work as a teacher. You work as a person who communicates science to the children. So all these could be your uh, answers. And uh, in this particular paragraph, you can also mention. Uh, the specific uh, professor that you would like to work with uh, like three to four names that interest you so that your application would be forwarded to those people for looking as well then in the fifth bag, uh, fifth uh, paragraph you need to give uh, something you need to tell them about your uh, academics uh, and your journey till now so in your background the first thing you tell is how uh, you what have you done you have done your bachelor's you have done your master's what are your uh, academic grades like how have you performed uh, what are if you have earned any awards you can mention if you have any especially if you have uh, worked on some research problems research work you can mention that as well and you can also mention you have uh, any extra skill that is not mentioned in your cv and some people use this uh, a paragraph to actually explain their lower grades as well so if you have a good reason to convince them uh, you can say uh, like uh, um people say i've seen people write uh, things like they were not able to afford books or something that is convincing to, to say that you don't have a good grades or you have something extra so that is your fifth paragraph sixth paragraph would be the conclusion paragraph so here you need to tell them why i would be a suitable candidate for this particular position they want to know uh, like can you prove them that you have got all the skills all the motivation that would be required for this program then you need to tell them that uh, i have I, ha I have been capable till now i have research experience i am highly motivated and in the last paragraph you have to uh, conclude that with all the background that i have collected till now i would be a suitable candidate and last th two three lines would be you want to express that you really want to learn you really want you're really highly motivated and uh, you would uh, definitely give your best for this program so this is how you should uh, construct your sops and remember writing sops is not really that easy you have to write uh, draft a draft sop get it corrected with your seniors uh, people who have been into that uh, uh, program before even professors if you have research professor you can write to them as well and it would take uh, at least about one month it may seem a very uh, easy job but believe me it is not you need to correct uh, everything like from spellings to proper grammar to uh, proper reviews make uh, make sure that it gives you a good story it gives you connections through the paragraphs it tells something about you and you need to make it strong and that's why you need to review it once uh, more and more every time so make sure that you spend proper time in uh, making your sops these are really really important and that 
can actually determine your applications for that particular program.